During risk planning, in addition to the risk management plan, a very important document is created called the risk register. A risk register is a table that lists information about each of the risks you have identified during the process. It includes a description of each risk, its potential impact, and its root causes. A risk register generally contains several columns of information. The first four columns in the example register enable you to track each risk and its context throughout the project lifecycle. A tracking number uniquely identifies each recorded risk so that it can be easily referenced and monitored. The RBS column links each risk to its category within the risk breakdown structure, and the WBS column associates each risk with the work components it may affect within the work breakdown structure. The date column lists the date at which each risk was identified. Another identifying characteristic that could be included in the risk register is risk status, which could be recorded as pending, current, or ended. The description column should contain a clear and concise description of each identified risk. The cause column should identify the cause or causes of each identified risk. Identifying the root causes of risks is an important step in developing effective risk responses. The impact column should detail the potential impact of each identified risk on the project. This section of the register may be further divided to detail the impact of each risk on specific project objectives. The severity and likelihood columns indicate the extent to which each risk could impact the project and the probability of the risk occurring. The options for these measures could be classified, for example, as none, very low, low, medium, high, and very high. The risk response column lists the responses planned for managing each of the identified risks. Responses may include accepting a risk if its cause lies outside of the management team's control, or adjusting the project plan to lessen its potential impact.